guys and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna show you guys how I wear my baby in the boba wrap I have owned a Moby wrap and this is my first time ever owning a boba wrap they're both very similar there's not much difference to me in my opinion they're both just long pieces of fabric they're kind of like a stretching material and you can wear your baby hands-free this is how I get things done around the house I have a baby that likes to be held 90% of the time so this provides a way for me to hold her and still have my hands free to do other things around the house and I also have two other children so the wrap definitely comes in handy so you guys have seen me wear her a couple of times on my channel and I've got some questions on how I put her in there so I'm gonna show you how I wear her in the newborn position there are other positions that you can do when they get older but for now I'm gonna show you how to do the newborn position and also how to nurse in your wrap my baby is a little bit over a month she turned a month old last Friday and today is Thursday so she's about a month and a week I'm gonna try to lay her down for just a minute to see if she will let me show you guys the wrap so this is what the wrap looks like it's just a long piece of material it's like a stretchy cotton material if you guys are interested in this wrap I will have it linked down below in my description box I'm gonna move my camera a little bit so you guys can kind of get a better view okay so the very center of your wrap will be indicated with a tag so you're gonna find that tag and you're gonna take your wrap and you're gonna fold it in half Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just put it on flat, I don't fold it. Once you have it folded, you're gonna take the center where the tag is at, and make sure I have it. So, and you're gonna center it up. I do mine about right here. And then you're gonna take and pull it across. Once you have it brought around, you're gonna take and crisscross it and bring it up over your shoulders oh did you get fussy so this is what it should look like just a crisscross in the back she's starting to get fussy so okay so you want to make sure that you have your folds facing towards you not away from you so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna cross them let me film I got to show them okay so whichever side you want your baby's head to be tucked that's gonna be the side that you have on top so I want her let her head to lay on this side so I'm gonna make sure this side is on top of the crisscross so you're just gonna cross them and you're gonna poke it down through the front right there so you can just kind of take this time to straighten things out make sure it's not like bunched up or anything and Pretty much what you're going to do from here is you can go ahead and tie it in the back but I have a lot left over so I just take and bring it back around and I tie it in the front okay so this is what we got going on your wrap is on and you're ready to put your baby in so we're gonna go ahead and pick her up also keep in mind that your baby may be uncomfortable while you're trying to get them in the wrap and they may be a little bit fussy but once you get them in they're gonna go to sleep pretty quickly she goes to sleep almost immediately as soon as I get her in there and she'll sleep for however long I have her in there actually um, I have to wake her up to make her eat all right so we've got the baby so the side that you want to put her in first or him is going to be the side that's on the bottom so you're going to put your baby on your opposite shoulder and support them with one hand while you take your other hand and pull apart that um, fold and you're going to stick 
her legs and her little booty are right there in the fold and sometimes I have to bounce to kind of just keep her calm and kind of help her bounce down in there and then you're gonna take once she's in that side you're gonna take this side and you're gonna do the same thing tuck her feet in her booty and there you go so now she's in the wrap so the last thing that you will do is you're gonna take this part and pull it up like so and she's in the wrap so I could walk around with her like this but once she's ready to go to sleep I will just kind of take see if I can get her to do it she may not be ready to go to sleep right now but you just kind of take and tuck their head yeah she's not really wanting to go to sleep right now she's she's been asleep all morning so she's wanting to be awake so this is what your wrap should ultimately be looking like <laughs> So now that I have shown you the newborn position, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to nurse in the wrap as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take her out and then I'm going to show you that position. Okay, so now if you want to nurse in your wrap, you would basically put it on just as if you were going to wear the baby in that newborn position. So I'm going to take and just kind of loosen things up a little bit so that the baby will have room to... Um, to lay whatever side that you want to nurse your baby on is going to be the side that's on the top so this is the side she's going to be nursing on if you wanted to nurse on this side you would just untie your wrap and redo the crisscross bring it back and then back around so um, I'm going to nurse her on this side so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put her in you're just going to hold your baby like this Trying to keep her calm <laughs> while I do this. Holding your baby in one arm, you're going to take and kind of put the baby's butt right there. I don't typically nurse in my wrap um, unless I'm like out and about. And then that's when it comes in handy if you want to be covered. And the wrap will do a lot of the supporting for you. So... Just kind of slide her that way a little bit. So now her butt is in there. Her feet are just kind of hanging out right there. So I'm just going to take my hand and support her head. I'm trying to keep her passy in her mouth. She normally don't like a passy, so she's spitting it out every chance she gets. <laughs> See? Girl! Girl! You don't want it. Okay. That's fine. I think she, I think she's starting to sense that it's time to nurse. Okay, so just make sure that you get their arms and everything and tuck it right in there. I'm going to bring her through. And you would kind of, you would pull your shirt up, nurse or down, however you wanted to do it. But the baby's head is right there. And like I said, pretty much um, supported she's got the hiccup so she's getting fussy so she's actually nursing right now um, the hardest part about this is getting your shirt pulled up or down getting situated oh but yeah that's basically how you do it and the way that I nurse is I do the two shirt system so under here I have a nursing tank and then I have my regular top and so what I do is I just pull my top up so I still have my nursing tank covering the rest of me and yeah you would never know that i was breastfeeding right now so there you have it all right so that is how you do the newborn position and also how you nurse I'm not really a rep professional but i do have a little bit of experience this will be my second time around wearing a baby i wore my second born in the moby and i actually lost my moby in my move like i said i now have the boba they're both very similar so i will actually link both of them down below if any of you are interested there's not really much difference to me in the moby and the boba both are very good quality wraps and do the same exact thing so if you guys are interested that will be in my description box below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video